Hi Tom and happy graduation from medical school. I am just so proud of you and just so thankful for the way God has worked through you, not just these last four years, but the last six and a half years since I've had the pleasure to know you. Uh, it was about six and a half years ago that Kurt uh, introduced us after you got back from Southeast Asia and you began your journey to become a doctor and here you are now heading off for residency. Uh, just thankful for the way that you actually took part in a journey with us at Hay Clinic uh, on our staff as a medical assistant and actually that helped me develop our whole medical assistant program to help other students to become uh, physicians and PAs someday. So here you are with our quality improvement team, uh, our weekly quality huddles, our ELIs, and all of the care that you helped to deliver. And also you helped out with our research, getting our uh, paper out to NAS, and also the chapter out there for Up to Date, which is now being used by physicians, residents uh, all over the world. And so I'm just so thankful for the way God used you there. What I want to do is just take a minute and just share a scripture with you from uh, the book of Luke. Uh, just going over the story of the Good Samaritan, and then uh, just give you a little blessing. So in chapter 10, On the occasion, an expert of the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? Uh, he said, how do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. So heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love the neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly. He replied, do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? In reply to this, Jesus said, a man was going from Jerusalem to Jericho when he fell into the hands of robbers. They stripped him, they took, a, took away his clothes, they beat him, and he went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by the other side. So to a Levite, when he came by, he passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan... As he traveled, came to where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, poured on oil and wine. He took the man on his old donkey and took him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Look after him. And when I return, I'll re reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. So Tom, go and do likewise. Administer God's grace in its various forms to patients, families, your co-residents, medical students. Be a great mentor and do so by the power of the Spirit with his love. So we love you, Tom, and just pray the best for you. Uh, on May 27th, I'm actually going to be giving a talk on uh, mentorship and discipleship, and I'll certainly be mentioning you, and perhaps you can even help me with that for CMDA. Uh, so let's say a quick prayer together. Lord, thank you for Tom and for the way uh, that you have worked through him. I pray for him and Kristen and their family, that you'd bless them as they start this new chapter of their journey, and continue to bless me, Lord, and other mentors, uh, that we would be great mentors who raise up folks that could be great mentors and disciplers. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you, man.